you're watching the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. Now here's your hosts, Tom, Nick, Ryan, and Dave. It's you, it's me, it's N-R-D. It's you, it's me, it's N-R-D. Uh-huh. Let's start the show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third annual Herald with your host, Dave C. The Voice. Take it away, Dave. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. It is you. It is me. It is number three. It is episode 155 of the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. But more importantly, it is time for the annual, the tradition, the greatest award show in all of wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the third annual Herald Awards, where we celebrate all the best in wrestling of the past year in 2023. And what would the Heralds be without the one, the only, the commissioner of the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast, ladies and gentlemen, Harold the Puppet. Oh, I tricked you, thinking it was that nasty scoundrel, Harold. Well, it's me. Hello there. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? It's me, Harold the Puppet. Welcome to the Harold Awards. How you doing, Nick? How you doing, Dave? You know, I'm just honored to be here. This is my third third one that I've got to uh, present at. Very, uh, very excited to be here, Harold. Harold you like I'm, my tie? I, I love it. I'm glad I that do. that Harold got the uh, the dress code memo. memo. I, did. I, put my, I put my dress hat on. He put on his his his, his uh it's black tie, black hat yeah. affair. Nick, black you tie. look great. Thank you, thank you, Harold. You look great, also. Uh. David, David, David. If I might say. Since it's an award show and we're giving away adulations, may I please say, you look ravishing. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You kind of look like an Amish. I look kind of Amish. <laughs> oh, well, I can't be Amish because I do have lights on and we are recording this on a laptop. So, uh, been spending most of our lives living in an Amish paradise. Churn butter once or twice, living in an Amish paradise. Okay, uh, okay. Copyright. <laughs> uh, but I think it's time we start giving away some hardware here. What do you what do you think, yeah. Harold? Yeah, baby. Hey, what's the first award? Well, I'm gonna present the first award. I'm just gonna step right in. Because okay. we're gonna start off with a bang with match of the year. And there was a lot of good matches, and I definitely seen all three of these matches on, on this list. <laughs> um, we have Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns at the Elimination Chamber. That was that was a banger. Uh, Kenny Omega versus Will Ospreay at Forbidden Door, and then we also have uh, also at Forbidden Door. I got uh, the, the next Forbidden Door. Though. These are different Forbidden Doors, correct? We have. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. That is uh, that's full gear. Excuse me. That's an full error. Gear. You know, oh, that was me. full that gear. Was full gear. Yes. And then Swerve <laughs> versus Hangman at in a Texas Death Match it was the third one. Whoa! What a year for wrestling, huh? I gotta say that Swerve and Hangman match where he went like this, glug 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 to the blood. I did not appreciate that. So that is not winning. That was too scary. Ugh. But, you know, between the other two, I love Kenny Omega. I love, love William Osprey. But I got to say, no match made me feel things right here. Bump, 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 bump. In the heart as much as Samuel Zayn and Roman Reigns. So the match of the year goes to Sami Zayn. Whoa! I got it. I don't like Roman Reigns, but man, oh man, I don't like the outcome. But boy, oh boy, I was, I don't even have sweat glands, guys, and I was sweating. Ah, this puppet was m m m m moist. Oh man, that, that match was something. I completely agree with the outcome of that, Harold. It made you feel feelings. We didn't think Sammy had a, had a snowball's chance in act, but man. Rest you 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 had complete suspense and disbelief. Can't whoo. I believed. Right I believed in the ole ole ole. He's feeling hot, hot, hot. Sammy's thing. I still uh, hope he has his time 
as super duper champion. Uh, well, maybe he will have a chance at this next award. No, he won't because I'm looking at the nominees right now. So I'm going to announce the nominees for the next award. The next award being Male Wrestler of the Year. And the nominees are Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief, Maxwell Jacob Freeman, and the now longest reigning intercontinental champion in WWE history, Gunther. Whoa. Well, Roman Reigns has been champion forever, and he only wrestled 17 matches or something this year. So, no, sorry, Roman. Not going to happen. But MJF, whoa, he has had quite a year, and so has the Flatmaster. Bah, 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 Gunther. This is a really hard one. I want to give it to MJF because I have been so enthralled with his storylines. But I got to say, I did not expect it from Gunther. So, Gunther, Intercontinental Champion, really holding it down, slapping the meat. Bam, 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 bam. I'm giving male wrestler of the year to my European friend, Gunther. Wow. Oh. It's a shock, I know. Great. Was I Shane love- McMahon didn't wrestle enough matches to qualify for this or something? Is that is that what happened? You know, I'm giving that to Snoop Dogg in that match. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Biggest, Snoop biggest. Dogg, same thing, sp- McMahon's life. <laughs> uh, so what? what is our next category then? All right. Well, our next category is uh, the female version of the last category. Bailey. The female wrestler of the year. Which uh, the nominees would be Rhea Ripley, uh, Timeless Tony Storm, and Chris Statlander. Whoa, why isn't Bailey on this list, huh? What's uh, the problem here? She's my number one. Hey, hey, I want some Bailey. I got evil. I know I hate it. Um, but Chris Statlander's return, phenomenal, exciting. I like that she does sign language. But she's not the female wrestler of the year. Timeless Tony Storm. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love this rebrand with the black and white camera. It's just so funny. And then, well, Mommy herself, she got Dirty Dom out of jail, and she's really running the shots. And I think that's cool, but I got to give it a Tony Storm. I am so into this black and white shit. Give me. I love Tony Storm. Wow, that's an upset great? right there. I was going to say, if anything, the camera, the editing crew at AEW deserves uh, an award just because no, Tony Storm goes like this. Oh, yes. Oh, my. Here's my shoe. Ah. Watch for the shoe, everyone. Watch and for the she shoe. Says, she says something naughty. She says, chin up, something out, and watch out for the shoe. I'm not saying the word. Chest out. Chest out. Yeah, chest. There we go. Chest. We all got a chest. Some more than I others. Think so. Uh, speaking of some more than others, there are more people in the ring when you have a tag team match, and that brings us to our next category for the third annual Heralds. It is Tag Team of the Year. The nominees are Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. The North American Nightmares, as Danielle has tagged them. Uh, Adam Cole and MJF, better than you, Bebe. And... FTR. <laughs> this is hard because I feel like a jerk if I don't follow what everyone else is saying. The ESPNs and the Pro Wrestling Illustrated set up TR as the tag team of the year. I don't know if I know why. MJF and Adam Cole, that was kind of short lived though, right? Like they got brawlers, they were in love, they weren't in love. And then the other ones were Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. That's just a love story that's gone on for too long. I love them, but I don't know if it qualifies for Tag Team of the Year. I'm going to do a cop out on this one, fellas. I'm going to say, because the journalists, those journos, they said FTR. I'm going to say FTR. Okay. I don't know why. I'd have to go back. I don't know if FTR's won it before. I think the Usos won it last year. I don't yeah, I got the Usos, yeah. I think it was the Usos last year. Interesting call there, Commissioner Harold. So what is our next award? 
the third annual Heralds. Well, the next award is the OMG goodness moment of the year. Oh, oh my! Goodness. The nominees are TKO buys WWE, CM Punk is fired from AEW, and CM Punk is hired to WWE. Uh, 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 uh. You know, I gotta say, I'm thankful that Dave helped come up with the nominees because I forget a lot of things. But I hate this one so much. There's no goodness. There's a lot of oh my, but there's no goodness. Well, <laughs> TKO by WWE. Wow, shocking. Uh, I no one saw that. I think I don't know. Um, and then CM Punk is fired. Fired, and then he gets hired. I'm gonna say, oh my goodness, it was so good when CM Punk got fired from AEW. I think that that man is trouble, and I don't like trouble, guys. I'm a good guy. Wow, I'm genuinely surprised. I would, I, I, my vote in in the uh, in the uh, voters box, it would have been for CM Punk's return because it's. It's a little bit of good there. I didn't. I thought that would never happen financially. I thought WWE would eventually sell, but it's. I don't. Two I don't cold think days. it's good. I would say that it was an oh my, oh my god, yeah. But I wouldn't say oh my goodness. <laughs> well, there we have it for the uh, the OM goodness moment of the year. Sam Punk fired by AEW. Um, so from a man that was nothing but trouble in AEW to a man that has brought nothing but goodness and happiness to this broadcast, ladies and gentlemen, second time ever, it is uh, one of the most special awards here at the Herald. It is time to present the Don Wilson Big Win of the Year Award. Yes, I, uh, I want to interject before I get into it. Folks, I told Dave and Nick that I'm going to take care of the nominees for this. And guess what? There's no nominees. There is one person who I think would honor the spirit of Don Wilson in the biggest win of the year. And now that person is very special and near and dear to my heart. I consider them a very, very close and personal friend making very big, big life decisions. Some might say two are becoming one very soon. Some might say, if you like it, you should have put a ring on it. Some might say New York is getting a lot happier because of what is happening. And I got to say, the Don Wilson Big Win Award goes to none other than my friend, Danielle. Hey! Dave Cena, boy. Danielle, my best friend. I love her so much. It is a big, big win for you, Danielle. Proud of you, girl. Mwah. Danielle, you won an award. I think she's asleep, but we'll tell her in the morning when she wakes up. Uh, I want you to film her reaction as soon as she wakes up. Go okay. to the bedroom and say, Danielle, 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 you won an award from Harold. Danielle, so let's cut to that video right now of my fiance winning the Don Wilson Big Win of the Year Award. Hello. Coming at you live from the daycare that I am not doing. Um, I would like to dedicate this award to all of the significant others who have become wrestling fans through watching with their partners, as that is how, how I am here. Um, I would just like to say it's a great honor to have received the Don Wilson Big Win Award. Uh, I hear the most amazing things about him from Dave, so I am truly honored and I will do my best to uphold that honor through the next year until I pass my crown to someone else. And because Harold bestowed this honor upon me, I will lessen my dislike for him marginally. Thank you. Wow, that was such a good good video, Dave. Good <laughs> job filming that. Danielle, congratulations. Dave, I gotta say though, the only reason you didn't get it is I think Dan, I, I love Danielle and I think she's my favorite out of the two. But she is really a winner because she got to marry you. I'll I'll put a spin on that, Harold. As you see this beautiful ring, the rock she put on my finger. Um, she like 
she deserves that. She represents the spirit of Don Wilson and the big win of the year award. But a lot of people will say that I have married up. I am the one you winning did. this. She she is the catch. Trust me in all of this, folks. She is uh, exponentially better than you are. And I think you're pretty great. I'm I'm just saying again. Look at the rock she gave me. It's it's massive here. So uh, to to quote um, Matt Cardona, I would now like to say that I am one half of the Don Wilson Big Win of the Year Award winner uh, because in marriage you split everything 50-50. So I'm proud to put that on my resume, everyone. Yes. We're winners in this household, baby. We're winners in this oh. household. Uh, so okay, what's, our, what's next? What's our next award? Uh, okay, <laughs> is, it, is it is it time for the NRD thumbnail of the year? I'm I'm anxiously awaiting to see what this is. All right. Well, the nominees are. This is much much debated too, <laughs> but the, we narrowed it down to the final three. Is episode one sixteen, the broadcast after Mania. Episode 131, Spaghetti and Cake in the Golden Nerds. Is, I guess the episode title. <laughs> and then episode 152, a recent one, which is um, the Rice Krispie Treats. Rice Krispie Nerds, baby. The Rice Krispie <laughs> Nerds, that's right. Whoa! Can you describe the thumbnail for the WrestleMania one real quick? <laughs> No. Paint a picture. Paint a picture for Harold. It is it is the broadcast after Mania. It is the wise man Paul Heyman with Harold's photo on there, with Tom Sasso putting his one in the air, yes, and, yes, so, yes. and Solo Soko, so Tom's face was over Roman Reigns because Tom won the crown of WrestleMania. Uh, and of course, Solo Sokoa, me being Roman Reigns, a.k.a. Tom's right-hand man at WrestleMania against Space Man George. I put my ones up in the air for Tom Sasso as well. Uh, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, okay. That's not going to win because I don't want to pick things for my friend Tom, just just because I love him. Fair. Okay, well, I love Rice Krispie so much. I laughed so hard when we did that thumbnail. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, Tom loves spaghetti just as much as I do. And I, we both love Kota Ibushi. But I got to say, instead of making it about Tom, let's make it about the nerd boys. I'm going with us as my Rice Krispie Treat character. That's right, baby. We're winners. We won. Like, I, I gotta say, I gotta say, I gotta say. Pork like for all uh, people. <laughs> they works really hard on those thumbnails. I hope you appreciate them. Yes. Do it for the views, baby. Do it for the views. <laughs> oh man. So congratulations to us on winning for that. Us, yes, congratulations. Award. Yes. To us. Uh, we did Dave's, it. Dave's just stacking up the resume. I'm stacking up the awards, baby. I'm running out of room in here for all these trophies we're getting in here. My, I can't wait for that award to come in the mail. Um, so speaking of an award that is uh, very near and dear to this broadcast show, of course, uh, the inaugural winner was, of course, J.P. Hooper. Uh, he is currently Mr. Broadcast in the Bank. We never know when he's going to cash in on Tom for that crown. Uh, and, of course, last year's winner is Mr. Dennis Day Jr., uh, so it is time to induct another member into that fraternity. Uh, Harold, it's time for the Tom Says High Spirit Award. Whoa. This Tom gave me permission to do this award because I was a part of something very special with Tom. And this award only has two nominees. Me and Tom, we took a drive to, to the, the, west, the west side of Lake Michigan. We went to Chicago. We visited pro wrestling. Peace. Well, I can say there's three nominees, actually. <laughs> three? Oh, oh no. excuse me. I'm getting over a cold. Oh, no. We went to pro wrestling tees, and I got to meet in person, in real life, none other than the Ryan Barkin, the Barracuda mailbox, mailbox bomber, Frank, I don't know how to say it, but Spike. Spahik. And I got to meet the one and only Christopher Mexicans Castro. Whoa. And guess what? What? All three of them said hi to Tom. And all three of them said hi to Harold. I got nice. I got I don't want to toot his own horn here. So I'm gonna eliminate Ryan Barkin. He was just a very quick hello. Ooh. He had a lot of work to do. He's a busy millionaire. He's a busy man. 
he has got to go count his millions. And, you know, I got to say, uh, this show happened because of uh, our love for micro brawlers, right? Very true. One of our nominees may or may not have a micro brawler, huh? That's very true. I I'm looking think at that it right might now. Put, put someone in the lead, don't you think? Why possible? Could it could it be Frank? Could it be Frank? Could it be? No, Chris Castro is just the Thompson High hey. Award winner because he was so friendly, so nice. He gave me goodies. He gave me a high five, and we hugged. Frank, you did okay, pal. You just kind of said hi. Oh wait. So, but Chris Castro embodies the spirit. I'm on whatnot all the time, and I say hi, Castro, and he always says hi, Tom. And then, and then Frank never says hi when we're on whatnot. He just says, "Ugh, that Tom guy's around." Uh, so, no. Chris Castro, congratulations! The Tom says hi spirit award goes to you for embodying the says hi spirit. Well, in fairness, Frank did win Micro Brawler of the Year at the first ever Herald Awards. Uh, and he sent us a video two years ago. And I have great news that Big C, Chris Castro himself, has sent an acceptance speech for his Tom Says Hi win. Oh! Mm. Harold, thank you for the award, man. I, I'm here to uh, I accept this award. Thank you for the prize. Um, I much appreciate it, Harold. I love you. And uh, who else do you think was going to win this, huh? Frank? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, guys. All seriousness, have a good, have a great new year. I've been drinking a little bit, and I humbly accept this award. Uh, and I appreciate sending the piece in the mail. All right. See you guys next year. Oh, you're welcome, Castro. Love you, buddy. You're the best. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Can't wait to see you again in real life. Yes, absolutely. Congratulations to friend of the broadcast, Big C Chris Castro. Check him out on Twitch, Castropolis, and uh, he hosts all the whatnots on Pro Wrestling Tees. And, uh, of course, check out his Pro Wrestling Tees store uh, while you check out our merch as well. Um, so we've got one award left, and it is the big one. And this year we did not even put it in our own hands. We didn't even put it in Harold's hands or paws, whatever he's got. Um we These went hands, Dave. Okay, I'm just checking. I don't know how you identify your limbs. But so we went to Facebook, Facebook.com slash the wrestling nerd broadcast. And we left it up to you, the fans, the nerds, the patrons, all of you, our great community that we've built here. So we put up a poll of all the brawlers that came in crates in 2023. Pre-orders are not eligible for this. It is crate brawler of the year. Harold, who won the poll? I have no idea. Do you Dave, really? Would you what? like to? I think it was the Gangrel Sheik. I'm yeah. not. Right? Yes. yes. The Gangrel Sheik. <laughs> Yay. Uh, I told you I have no sweat glands, but I am sweating right now. Gangrel <laughs> Chase, Bloody variant. Super fangs. Yeah. Yes. Hey, guys. Yes. Can we agree? We're the Crate Brawlers this year. Meh. Not not a great year, of course. Uh, speaking of brawlers, it is the third annual Herald Awards, which means coming up in February will be the third year, the three year anniversary of the broadcast. Which means for the third year in a row, we're gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna rank all the brawlers that we got in hand in 2023. Oh, we, 90, what's up? What, how many? I think I counted like 97, <laughs> 8 in that oh, area. We're trying to figure some things out there because Nick messed up when uh, it came to counting on what was 400. So we're trying to verify that. But yeah, we got close to 100 brawlers that we're gonna rank in about a month's time. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, congratulations to all the award winners tonight. Of course, thanks to Commissioner Harold for joining us for the third annual Herald. Um, yeah, that is going to do it for this episode of the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. Again, thank you for joining us at the third annual Herald. Of course, you can join us again next week and the following week and the week after that. And until we hit a lot more episodes, you can hit that subscribe button right in that corner below Harold. Uh, really helps us out the most easiest way to support the broadcast. If you want to support the broadcast financially, you can join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash WNRDB for as little as a dollar a month. We'll send you positive. Give me your money. I want your money. 
<laughs> Give me your money. I want your money. Uh, you can get your very own Harold the Puppet t-shirts and wrestling or broadcast t-shirts. And, of course, the Big Win Energy t-shirt at ProWrestlingTees.com slash the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. And that's nerd spelled N-R-D. Check us out on all the platforms, social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook.com slash the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. Twitter and Instagram is at WNRDB. So, yeah, that's going to do it for us. So, on behalf of myself, Dave C. The Voice, one half of the Don Wilson Big Win of the Year Award winner, uh, the founding father, Mr. Nick Carpenter, and of course our commissioner, Mr. Harold the Puppet, and somewhere in the trenches, the man who says hi, Mr. Tom Sasso. Don't forget to tell your mother you love her every day because like Kevin Durant said, Mom, you're the real MVP. Good night, everyone, and God bless America. Happy New Year. Give me your money, baby. <laughs> <laughs>